हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जियोमेटिक्स इंजीनियरिंग एंड इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी आर कंटिन्यूंग आवर गूगल अर्थ इंजन एप्लीकेशन सीरीज इन रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड जी आई एस सो फॉर टू डेज लेक्चर द टॉपिक दैट आई हैव सेलेक्टेड इज the turbidity analysis of water bodies using sentinel data so the methodology that i am going to follow for this tutorial let me explain that methodology to all of you so here i had opened a website of arcgis case studies where using the arcgis software there are different studies are conducted here and from all these case study the river turbidity estimation using sentinel 2 data is also one of them so the methodology that is used here for the turbidity analysis is firstly the sentinel 2 images are collected and then band 3 4 and 8 is extracted from that image collection and then using band 3 and 8 which is green and nir the ndwi is calculated and also using band 3 and 4 which is red and green the ndti is calculated where ndti is normalized difference turbidity index and ndwi is normalized difference water index and then the next step is the ndwi is converted into a binary raster and using this binary raster image all the water bodies are extracted and by converting this binary raster image the image is converted into two values 0 and 1 where the ndwi values which are greater than 0 are considered as a water body so from here we will get a water body as a water mask layer and next move to this ndti after the ndti calculation a ndti image will be generated and this image will be clipped using this water mask and then we will get the turbidity index for only water bodies so this is going to be our methodology for today's tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to learn that how this methodology is going to be applied in google earth engine so let's start so here i have opened google earth engine blank script and named it as a ndti sentinel that is normalized difference turbidity index using sentinel 2a data so whenever i used to work in google earth engine the first step that, that i used to do is the selection of area of interest so for today's tutorial i am taking any area that has lots of water bodies so for this i am going to use this jhansi region area because there are so many water bodies are here so for making it a area of interest we have to create a polygon over it so for creating a polygon just click on this draw rectangle tool and drag this cursor over the map now our area of interest is selected and when you will create any polygon you can see it in the import section also now turn off this layer and move back to our coding part so our area of interest part is done here and then our next part is as mentioned in this methodology the first step is to image collection so our image is going to be sentinel 2a so we are going to import the sentinel 2a image collection so for this i am going to create a new variable variable image and within this variable i am going to store the ee dot image collection and within this image collection we have to put the code of sentinel 2a data and from where we will get that code you just have to search for sentinel 2a data in the search box so here the sentinel 2a level 2a data is visualizing here just click on it and copy this collection snippet code from here and paste it in your code section within these brackets so i pasted it here and then we have to define a boundary for this image collection so our boundary is this geometry that we have created so for defining boundary we have to use a function dot filter bounds and within these brackets we have to write this geometry and the next part is to select the date so for date filter we have to write a function dot filter dates dot filter date and whenever you write a function in google earth engine you must notice that when this function is a combination of two different words like there is a filter and date so first word first letter is a small letter and second words first letter is a capital letter and now filter date and within these brackets we have to write the start date and end date so for the start date i am going to take the after monsoon date because at that time the water bodies are full of water and have also some amount of turbidity 
due to monsoon so for this i am going to take the november month image from 1st november to 30th november so 1st november is our start date and 2022 11th 30th november is our end date for this image collection so our image collection part is done here and now our next part is going to be create a single image by mosaicing this collection so let me comment it out that we are going to create a single image from this image collection that we have imported here in this image variable so create a single image for the image collection using mosaic function so what this mosaic function will do it creates a composite image using all the overlapping image collection according to their order so let's use this so for this i'm going to create a new variable mosaic and within this mosaic we are going to store a single image which is going to be created using this mosaic function so for this we have to first take this image collection that we are going to mosaic so image dot mosaic so image dot mosaic will create a single image from this collection and now from this mosaic image we have to select the band 3 4 and 8 so for that what we have to do our next step is select band 3 4 8 so for that i'm going to create a new variable variable band no variable image band and within this we have to take this mosaic image and from this we have to select select this band band 3 band 4 and band 8 because for ndwi and ndti calculation we only need these three bands that's why we have selected it out so now our bands are selected here and our next step is going to be create ndwi and ndti from these bands so first we are going to calculate calculate ndwi so for ndwi calculation i am going to create a new variable variable ndwi and within this firstly we will take this image bands which have these bands band 3 4 and 8 and within this image we are going to to use a function normalize difference so this function is used whenever you have to calculate any indices that is based on the normalized difference ratio index so for that normalized difference function is and within these brackets we have to select the band which is going to be used for ndwi calculation so band 3 and 8 is going to be used in ndwi calculation and if we see the ndwi formula the green minus nir divided by green plus nir is the formula of ndwi so firstly the green band is came in the formula so we have to write it only that series like firstly we have to write band 3 and then we have to write band whenever you are using this normalized difference function the order should be correct and this band 3 and band 8 will be in a square bracket because it is a list that we are taking from this image band and let rename this output image as ndwi now the ndwi image is calculated let's visualize this ndwi layer in the map section for that we have to write map dot add layer and within these brackets we have to take this ndwi layer paste it and then use the visualization parameters and then give a name it for layers visualization then click on run and you can see that the ndwi is calculated properly all the water bodies are highlighted here so our next part is then to create a binary raster image from this ndwi so for that our next step is to create a binary raster binary raster means we are going to classify this ndwi in two parts where the values lies between 0 to 1 so for that i am going to create a new variable variable water mass and within this the ndwi image is taken first then from this we have to use a function dot gt and 0 dot gt and 0 is for where the values greater than 0 in ndwi is considered as true value and give it a value 1 and where the value is less than 0 is considered as a false value and for that train the output image is considered as zero value and let this output image renamed as a water mass a water mass so just using 
a single line of code we created a binary image and renamed it as a water mask layer now our next task is to calculate the ndti so for that i am going to write about the next step that is calculate ndti and for this we just have to copy this ndvi calculation line code and paste it and just change the variable name into ndti and the band name from 4 to 3 and rename it as ndti so the ndti is also calculated and then our next step is to clip this ndti from this water mask layer so for that we are going to clip the ndti from water mask for that i am going to create a new variable variable clip ndti and within this i am using this ndti band and write the function dot update mask from from which layer this water mask layer this will mask out all the overlapping air wherever the water is available over this ndti image all area will be extracted out and now our all coding part is done now just one by one we are going to add this into map layer section so for this i am going to map dot add layer and within the brackets we have to visualize this clip ndti so selecting this layer first then take the visualization parameter i am leaving it as blank and writing the visualization layer name that is ndti and now click on run you can see that we have visualized the ndwi layer first and next layer is this ndti layer you can see that all these water bodies are clipped and extracted but there is no color is there that can separate the low turbidity and high turbidity area for that we have to visualize it with some color palette for that i am stretching this value range and for the color palette i'm taking the three colors the red one the yellow one the red yellow and the blue now click on apply and visualize this on this satellite layer now you can see that this ndti values ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 so where it is the positive values there is high turbidity showing and where there is the negative values that is showing the low turbidity so our blue color is showing the high turbidity areas and the orange color is showing the low turbidity areas let me change it color into darker shade so that you can see it clearly applied so you can see that within our area of interest the low turbidity area the medium turbidity area and the high turbidity areas are highlighted and also masked with water layer so i hope you all understand about this methodology that how can you calculate turbidity index from sentinel 2a image and if you are liking these kind of videos so please let me know in the comment section and also subscribe my channel thank you very much